Dear all, the European Union budget for 2023 is not a merely standard procedure where we should just present normal budgetary lines and carry on with our standard work. We live in times of urgency. We have to tackle the climate catastrophe that we are on. We have to address war in our borders. We have to prepare for possible humanitarian crisis and we need uh, to mitigate the huge impacts that energy prices and overall high inflation will have on our citizens' life. And the EU budget is the most powerful tool that we, as a union, have to try to influence also the rest of the world into doing what needs to be done. Although we understand the special circumstances that um, the timing of uh, this year's amending letter by the Commission, uh, it does not uh, imply the best practices uh, and influence, influences the European Parliament uh, fulfill properly role as a budgetary authority. Uh, we would hope that this doesn't repeat it. Uh, let me address just three uh, main issues on this amending letter. First, uh, we will uh, let welcome the humanitarian aid increase, although it's still uh, not uh, sufficient uh, as we think. Uh, with the escalation of Russian attacks on civil targets in Ukraine, we have to expect further increase on humanitarian needs next year. Unfortunately, this goes also for humanitarian needs regarding uh, climate change. Uh, and in the amending letter, uh, sorry, uh, it is stated that further uh, reinforcements in the course of 2023 are likely to be needed in the EU uh, so it uh, has to sustain its 2022 humanitarian assistance and support the sharply increase of number of people in need. So uh, we would like to question why uh, this proposal was not made now and uh, will this be uh, a proposal on the negotiations. Secondly, it is possible, possible, uh, posi positive sorry, that uh, we see a reinforcement of the Union Civil Protection Mechanism. Uh, to be able to react to more severe impacts on climate change, although there should also be increases in the parts of the budget that invest on fighting climate change and speed up our efforts on these regards. The EU budget is the best way to do that. Finally, on the issue on the uh, European Union recovery instruments. <coughs> the reinforcement of EU line of 450 million is extremely large. The European Parliament has warned repeatedly that having the EU line in heading 2B is unsustainable and that the next generation EU interest costs and repayments should be counted over and above MFF ceilings. Will the Commission ever make this proposal? How is it planning to deal with this situation? And also, uh, fi finalizing the position on the Council for us uh, is quite disappointing uh, in the constants that we are living uh, in. Um, the Council calls for it, uh, its appro approach prudent, but for us it's quite uh, questionable and disappointing. We need more ambition for next year's budget, not blunt cuts. Uh, and overall, we believe that the European Parliament has presented a realistic and powerful proposal, and with the rapporteur, Mr. Stefanuta, uh, and all my shadow uh, colleagues, uh, I think we can push for a 2023 budget that properly reflects our priorities, our visions and our citizens' needs. Thank you.